Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Sagis today will do a weekly reading. This will be for second week of March from the time you view this video or from the 9th till the 16th. The reason I'm recording this, my spirit asked me to do a reading for you, special for this full moon and the full moon in Virgo which is a very, very good full moon for many of us. Also is the first moon who is a super moon for this year, the war moon, and also brings you a lot, a lot of things, a lot of things you are about to organize, to put in place. And we'll do a special reading for all of you. Sun, moon, rising signs and Venus signs, general reading and general messages. First thing first, I want to tell you this this full moon, Sag, will be a very good moon for overcoming fears. First thing first, whatever you felt like stagnant or holding back, now it is a time to overcome that. Don't hold that anymore. It is also a good moon, a good full moon to acknowledge your own weakness and forgive yourself for whatever reason was out there. And I feel here this moon is one of those moons who help you grow spiritually, morally, and ethically. And Spirit says remove the guilt, self-pity, and with this way will lead you to a happier and healthier and contentment life. And what many of you will feel this moon will bring you that clarity, that strength to move forward, to be more generous. Also, it is a mental sharpness, most likely in the field you are working, in the field you want to grow, also in your, in your family-based wise. As you always know, the confusion and this moon, it is about to fade away. And of course, the full moon brings a lot, a lot of energies for many of you, as you always know. Also, we are just crossing this retrograde, the Mercury retrograde on the 10th. Also, the clarity, the good things are start building up one by one. And yeah, Sag, be prepared for good, good energy coming towards you. Let's see here what we have from the Garden Dragons, was the message from the Dragons. And of course, we'll get more messages as we go forward. From the Garden Dragons, we have the Tea Dragon, and which that is tells us to relax. And for many of you, Sag, Apple Dragon gives you that you need to take care of more of your health, of your well-being as we speak this week. But let's hear the tea dragon, what brings to you and what's the meaning behind this card. What your hurry right now? If you are feeling anxious or rushed, it is time to make time for yourself. The tea dragon reminds you that you should relax with a nice cup of this leader's namesake. In preparing the tea, breathe through the time it takes to boil the water, then perhaps you could sit quietly for the stepping time. As you drink in the hot liquid, remind yourself that it is a gift you give to others when you relax. You can deal with the stressors of the world better by indulging in your own tea ceremony. For some of you, yes, you are meditating more, you are relaxing more. It is a week for you to remind that self-care is very, very important. Let's see here what we have from the Lenormand. What's the messages from the Lenormand? We have the tree, expansion, love. For some of you, you've gone through a lot of things, but definitely with the cross here, you are needed to go through that, to clear the air for you. Also, something which ended for many of you was a luck, was a strike of luck for some of you. Okay? And 
that could be with somebody with you know younger than you fair skin green eyes blue eyes or some somebody who could be even younger that is done and over for some of you yes you might feel like this person was the one for you but spirit assures you that person wore a false mask or was not clearly for you or that person had too many red flags on their side also for many of you my loves after you ended whatever it is and definitely was a lucky thing for you even you felt like oh that was the death for me actually it is coming towards you somebody here could be a Pisces could be a Leo as we have the Sun and the moon here could be somebody way way different than you ever experience for some of you could be a Gemini or a fellow Sagittarius but definitely spirit says look beyond that and see what part of the person actually attracts you because I definitely see here with the flowers there is good messages coming towards you good vibes coming towards you for the Sag I'm talking here it is time to take the life easier and not so strong on you to be easier on you not to punish yourself also look at the better part of the situation let's see here my loves what we got from the spirit and what's the messages spirit want to deliver to you and what's the storyline behind this sun moon rising sign and venus signs these messages are coming for this week my happened my not my will happen for many of you so take it according loves and as you always know i do read the soul I do not read the gender, you can be any gender, you can be any sexual orientation, any religion, you are all, all welcome. And as you always know, the society has labels for the spirit and for the universe, you are just a soul. Let's see here, Sagittarius, what we got for you and how that feels, the energy around you. All right, loves. Knight of Cups coming a very good offer towards you. For some of you, there is a new beginning with somebody coming towards you. And I feel here you, you would like that, but you want it to be on your own terms. Let's see here what that is speaking to me. We have Three of Pentacles. Scorpio energy death we have moon Piscean energy it's kind of you are very much scared that this will not work it out whatever you are going there is a new beginning definitely with the death and the fool here although you have a lot of people around you who might say well think again or think twice and that is basically the fear you have because people say a lot of things and many of us we need just to listen to ourselves not other people for some of you you have more than one offer and you need to take time to reflect and see what's the options for you for some of you is a new job coming in here yes it is competition take your time don't be fearful although do you if it's a job out there there is people who say no to you think twice because they are not want good for you okay for some of you you do know your work ethic if it's a job situation and there is competition take your time and be patient don't be afraid that you'll not get it because you worked hard for that and you do know your abilities you absolutely do know because taking your time don't be fearing fool this is a celebration okay for some of you Sag I definitely see here a water sign around you and I do see here a, a Gemini okay again high priestess follow your intuition whatever is here this is your outcome card high priestess Knight of Swords, don't rush into making the decisions. Follow your intuition here because whatever you will go, that will be very, very fruitful. Take your time, my loves. 
For some of you, you are dealing with a soulmate here. Virgo energy. Okay? I see a air sign, water, and a Virgo here. Whatever it is here, my loves, I definitely see you very, very successful. Why did you say that? Being you, I feel here if you fall your guts with this energy, High Priestess and the Virgo energy, the Hermit, follow your guts no matter what. If your universe, if your guides, if your spirit angels, whoever you are believing in is telling you one thing, follow that thing. Don't really rush into things, okay? Because what is coming towards you, it's Six of Wands and a Wheel of Fortune. It's fast forward movement. Whatever you've been persistent, whatever you worked for, there is coming for you, loves, and there is very good movement. Keep in mind that whatever fears you have, I feel here is a clean up. Although, for the Sag I'm talking here, be humble when it's harming something. I always suggest to be humble. And why it is? Because I feel here you, you follow whatever was out there and you got it. And don't be like, hey, I got it. Look at me. Because Six of Wands is a fine line from achieving success be well known and another to be a, a lot like, hey, I'm not like you guys. Don't ever be that way because, of course, Jupiter is giving you that vibe because you are ruled by Jupiter. Also, many of you might not know the Pisces also is ruled by Jupiter too. So be in your own energy at this week. Also, do not listen what other people says here. Okay, you might want to start a job here or with whoever offer you will get job, relationship. Do not really listen to, you know, the outside energy. Ground yourself. Be in your own shell to get what you want. Because I feel here, if you will be out there, mind your business, do you, so you will be celebrating the success. Okay. There is somebody here, you might end it three years ago, because that's in the past. They will come back here. Might be a little conflicted energy. We'll clarify this five of wands. But I definitely see here, don't overreact whatever is out there. And do not believe everything what's coming towards you. Because I feel here, will get into yourself a lot of fear, like maybe I'm not good enough, maybe I'm not this and maybe I'm not that. Whoever comes back to you, you need to not overreact, Sag, okay? Also, take time to reflect, how was this person in the past with this Seven of Swords? Because I don't see this person very good to you. Could be a work situation, could be a former work lover or something like that. They come very different. If somebody comes into your life right now and really want to work things out with you, because I see here, I want, I want, I want, I want to reunite. They're very persistent. Look beyond what is hiding there, okay? Because, yes, they might wear a mask that, hey, I changed, I am different, but actually they are pretty same. As you always know, Somebody will improve. You are not changing. If you want to improve, yes. But nobody is changing. If, you, if I am Taro Victoria, I'm still Taro Victoria. Even I do change my readings here and there. I am still the same person, the same being. So keep in mind that, Sag. Okay? Give yourself time. Okay? If it's a job situation... Mind your business, don't listen to other people, do you, so you will get the fruits. If somebody comes from the past, don't overreact again. For some of you, it is coming somebody new, but that person might have other people, or other people might tell you, oh, that person you know, this and that. Do not listen. What I will say, do not rush in any relationship right now, because you might fall in love in a very short time. Or that person might be very much in love with you already and they want you very, very much. Whatever is here, look beyond those things. Because I definitely see here I'm 
I'm talking with a Sag who is very spiritually awakened. You've gone through a lot. And I definitely see, even you are a young person, you are mature enough to take good, good decisions. Whatever you will do, I definitely see here, there is absolutely beautiful energy. Okay? Let's see here why this moon here. Definitely this moon, the moon in Virgo, as we go here, is very obvious. Queen of Cups. Somebody here who tells you that do love you. They are watching you from afar very, very much. This person is on you all the time. And this person might even tell you, I want to be with you for the long run. For some of you, if you are very much afraid of commitment, take your time, learn, date this person. I don't say to not date. If it's somebody new and really wants to be out there, yes, they might be a little more mature or younger, but this person has good intentions, okay? If it's a new person and you don't really know what to do or what or how to go, learn more. Because when we have this page of swords, you need to learn more what is going on with this person and why they do insist so much, okay? Although, for some of you, it is a job coming. If you ended a job who you've been quite a while out there, there is another opportunity. Although, that will require for you to learn a lot from that. So, take your time and do so, because that could be a very fruitful outcome. Five of Wands here. Hangman. Again, do not really pay attention here what other people say because you know with the hangman spiritually you know where you are hitting, okay? Yes, and judgment, hangman and judgment. For some of you, somebody might come back to you. You've been dealing them before, that person is not moved on. And they want to reunite with you and offer you their cup of love. So pay attention. Let's see here. Seven of Swords for you, Sag. Hierophant, Taurus energy. Somebody here might even tell you, I want to, you know, have something stable with you. Very much see and give them time to, to prove themselves. Give them time to prove themselves that what they are wanting is their thing here with the Empress here, and the Tower. That will surprise you if this person might even propose you or come here and tell you things. Be, be very mindful, Sag, because if somebody comes and tells you something they want from you, Libra, Taurus energy here, let them prove themselves that they are willing to work on this, okay? If they really want to work on this, give them at least a couple months to prove that they are really for you out there. Okay? Because I definitely see here, there is a Sag here, can achieve everything what they want, but they need to be very much like, let's see. Let's see if you prove yourself here what you've been saying. Okay, let them do the work and let them prove you if they really want this and then go forward. Okay, let's see here. I feel here there is a person, Sag, who is telling you, you don't understand how much I do love you. You don't understand how, it's like they take you very, very quick, quick, quick. So you, my suggestion for all of you, Sag, don't really give the goods too soon, too quick, okay? Because sometimes people who are rushing into things, as you always know, the foundation is the one who will bring a building up. So the foundation needs to be sturdy, not shaky. Let's see here, three of cups, six of cups. And four of pentacles, yes, definitely this person is very persistent. Could be somebody from your past, could be a soulmate. But it is somebody who might want something stable with you, 
but it's kind of they don't see other option at this time. They are not as you are, like expanded emotions, water sign. It's somebody here, could be from the past, water sign, earth sign. For some of you, it's an air sign very strongly. But I feel here, whatever proposal they will give it to you, that will make you think quite a bit in here. So yeah, Sag, this is what I got for you. And I thank you for watching and being here on the channel. Many blessings to all of you. If you are new to the channel and you really enjoy the content, please do subscribe for more. And if you are a current subscriber, thank you for watching. Happy full moon, happy full super moon, first super moon from this year 2020. Thank you, loves. Blessings to all of you. Bye for now.